Carlos Gladys. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay. And you? Good. How was your weekend? It was wonderful. Yeah. What'd you do, Carlos? Uh, I spent at, at home mm -hmm. and working some something, fixing something in, in the house. Okay. Uh, uh, something electrical or, or what? I was make, making uh, a, a work with uh, uh, I don't know how to say it, that, that that kind of work, but it's it's a work similar that I have behind me. It's with, from, with with wood, it looks like. It looks like wood. Similar as wood. Okay. Yes. Like, so this is carpentry. It's not wood, it's metal. Ah, okay, all right. And I was making uh, mm -hmm. as two words like this, like this. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. I was very busy, but I, I feel good making those things. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Good to know. All right. Elizabeth, glad to have you here. I know you had a, a question, so we'll start off with you. Um, if you were not able to solve it, if if you were, congratulations. But if not, go ahead and ask. What was the, the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a question about the, the midterm exam. But okay. I already, I, I already res, uh, resolved. <laughs> ah, you see? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't see the the mistake, but right, like uh, ten minutes ago, I, I, I check it again, and this what is in, and I started to, to see what the the, the mistake uh, was, and yeah, and yeah, I, I, I found it. <laughs> okay. So, um, but. I have some question about the uh, the, the 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 program, the platform. Okay. I uh, I have um well I have two um um two classes. Mm hmm that I um that I already uh, did, but it doesn't. It, it seems like uh, um, the program uh, doesn't read that I already did, um, or I uh, or or that I already answered the questions, because it's not the. Um, the check, the green check, mm -hmm. um, doesn't have the green check. Okay. When did you do the activities? Is it today? Uh, no. No. Okay. Oh. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't remember. Last last week, I guess. Okay. No problem. But for example, uh, for example, um, the lesson three point three, mm -hmm. and the lesson uh, three point six. Okay. And and I don't know why. And and everything is it's it's good. All the answer is good. But um but not no green check. <laughs> okay, all right. Very good. Um go ahead and in this moment, Elizabeth, uh mm -hmm. write write to Jonathan, okay? Because that way, it at least put it in there, and now write to him as well, and let him know that you mentioned it in class. That way, he can mm -hmm. uh, he can contact you or try to f go into the system and see why it's not allowing you three point three and three point six. Mm -hmm. Why is why is not giving you the green check? Because the function or the the purpose of of that check is to give you your diploma. So you need all of the checks at the end in order to receive the <laughs> diploma. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. that's why I asked me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, if you have what's well, right, write to Jonathan in this moment, and that way we can make sure we can try to solve it as soon as possible. 
Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Romulo, you have a question? Yeah, I have a problem, but no, no, I'm not sure what my, my answer, but then the knowledge check 3.12. 3.12, okay. I have a, I have a dog and then this kind of sentences. Mm -hmm. Can, can you review right now or? Yeah, 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 tell me, 3.12, which number? Go ahead, we're listening. Okay. Share my screen, oh, let me check. Yeah, share the screen, let's help. That moment already right now. Okay. Can, can you can you see? All I see is avanzado modulo uno. No. Oh. Okay. Let me. I don't know what happened here. Wait, teacher. No problem. No problem. Edwin. Yes, Elizabeth. Um, is uh, Jonathan in the in the uh, group chat? Yes, but I'll send you his information in case you're looking for it. Yeah, I was. Hang on a second. Uh huh. Is Jonathan Guzman, and let me see. I think he's the second one in the group chat. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, he's the second one in the list. The the number is the finish with one nine two eight. One nine two eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm. You can see Edwin? Yeah. Okay, I can see. Number two and oh number okay, okay, okay. E number two. Number two. Eliminate could you ask Sophia? Because you already have in the in the sentence you already have could you ask Sophia. So only you begin with if so eliminate all and the space. Mm -hmm. If Sophia. But no oh, capital. Only. No no capital. Mm -hmm. Ah no capital. No capital. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you gonna and what are you gonna ask Sophia? Could you ask Sophia if what? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. If Sophia, are you going to the party with Jeff? If mm -hmm. Sophia? No, because you're asking, someone is going to ask Sophia. You are not asking Sophia directly. So it's going to be if she. Mm -hmm. If she. Going to. Oh, okay, right, let me see, maybe. Go ahead and write it. Uh, go ahead. No, that's not correct. If, because you need the verb to be. If she is, is going to. Is going uh, to. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's going to. If she's going to what? Going to the party. The party. Uh huh. Exactly. The party. With Jeff. Correct. No. Yes. Okay. That's good. And the question, remember always put the question mark because this is a question. 
Th this one is not period because it's not a sentence. The same that the the, the four. The same. If, for, uh, if if he oh what happened? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Romulo, you continue. Anybody else have any other questions while Romulo is writing? Any other sections? Okay. So the good thing is that uh, we are checking it. So A, but it, it erased number two. Do you see that? Romulo, you're gonna have to write number two again also. Huh? Ah. The number. It <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You're gonna have to write number two also. Okay. Yeah, this is a, another another. Mm, another another screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I, 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 I may, I will make. Okay, thank you, thank you. you you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So this is the idea when we're talking about the indirect request is. Always, we are thinking of like the message is not for the person. The message is for another person. And because of this, it is very common to use he or she. Sometimes you could use the words like they, okay, or them. But it's always for other people. It's never directly for the person. So if I'm talking to Jose, I'm never going to say, uh, could you ask Jose? Because I am talking to Jose. I need to ask someone else. I, for example, I need to ask Carlos. Carlos, can you ask Jose if he, right? Or if she or if they, the different questions, okay? So that's the important part of the indirect requests is that the most important is that we almost always have to change the pronoun because we are always talking about someone else. There you go, Romulo, you see? Yeah. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Glad to, glad we can help you. Yeah. All right. Elizabeth, I'm glad that you were able to solve your question. Uh, is it anything that can help anyone? Is it something um, that was a technical problem or something you discovered or it was just a small mistake? That's it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth. All right. Good to hear. Okay. So I think if there are, mm, I think nobody else has any other questions, right? Everybody was able to advance with the exam, the midterm. Yes, I did. Okay. Great. Yes, I did, yes, I did too. Oh. Perfect, perfect, okay. So remember, if you are still working around it, you know, it's okay. But the idea is to make sure you're advancing at least up to the, uh, the midterm test. That way you don't accumulate too much uh, or too many other things, okay. Now in this moment, we're gonna talk about uh, just stories and things when you were young. Did your parents ever tell you bedtime mm -hmm. stories? or stories when you went to sleep, did they read books to you, or maybe your grandmother or grandfather, you had um, what are called bonfires. And, um, you know, these are uh, like in the beach, many times you see them in the movies, mm -hmm. that people have these little fires where they're talking, where they do these different things, uh, roast marshmallows or something like that. Yes. Yeah. I have. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the topic for today. The, the topic for today is telling stories and, you know, like how do we tell stories or what words do you use? Uh, how do you have this? And one of the most important things in telling a story, especially like a scary story or a spooky story, is making sure that we are clear between the past continuous and the past simple. Teacher, yes, Romulo. I had a question. What is a difference in history and a story? Ah, okay. 
So history is things that have happened during time. So for example, Egypt, uh, the, um, I don't know, the Roman Empire, uh, this, Caesar, uh, or, you know, this is history. History. Uh, history, because these are facts. These are things that actually happen. And story are things that you, you tell, uh, you can create. You can tell this, a love story, for example, of uh, Romeo and Juliet is a love story. Or, um, you know, other famous stories, let's like, see, Wanava is a story. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, see, uh, is, uh, are facts. Yeah, history are facts. Yeah. That's why there is a TV channel. It's called the History Channel because they are, for, yeah. they are only for facts, even if they tell it like a story, but it's really a history, not a story. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good All question, right. Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, that's good. Something you need to ask. So this is the idea. We're going to be looking at, at how to tell stories, but grammatically, the most important is talking about past simple and past continuous. Because when you tell a story, you're talking about what happened. Many times we have fantasies, like for children, they say, once upon a time. Have you heard this? Or maybe you have heard a long, long time ago. This is another yes. famous way to tell a, a story. Okay. All right. We're going to watch a small video about the introduction of telling a story. And then we're going to practice and use it. Okay. So, Teacher, right. what, what lesson? Are... This is 4.1, Elizabeth 4.1. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Around the campfire. Uh, around the campfire. Mm-hmm, 4.1. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean, what about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead ride. So how did it turn out? 
What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, Park Ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. So we got the idea of the story. Now, what's important about the story? Eh, not the story itself. It's the grammar that they use. And what is the grammar that they use? Well, in there, they're using past simple and past continuous. What is the difference? Well, the difference is that the past simple is actions that are finished. It doesn't matter, but simple means finished. Continuous means actions that are not finished. Okay, so to help you understand, I want you to think about the earthquake in 2001 in El Salvador. Do you remember the earthquake? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah. but I wasn't here. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth wasn't here. Romulo, you remember? Yeah. Some, okay, Romulo, Romulo, we're going to use your examples. Okay, do you remember in the morning what, what happened before the earthquake? What did you do before it? Were you awake? Uh, Were you sleeping? Having breakfast? What happened? No, I I I was in the office. Okay. Because uh, I, I I went to the offices that day. It's Saturday. Saturday and uh, in the morning, then um, I just finished the the a meeting with my coworker when the, we out to the parking lot and the start the, the earthquake. <laughs> Finish the meeting, uh, uh, the uh, wave uh, uh, say goodbye and, 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 and walk into the, the parking lot when they start the earthquake. Okay. All right. So Romulo, uh, you can check the chat. Everybody can check the chat. We can see how his examples can help us create a story. Okay. But because when he is talking and we use the ING, which is the past continuous, we have at the beginning and at the end, these are the things that were not complete. As an example, Romulo was not finished working. He started working. He still had to continue to 12 or 12.30, right, Romulo? Right. Yeah. So this is, I was working. That's why it was working because the job was not finished, but oh, okay. some of the activities were finished. As an example, Romulo, that day finished taking a shower, finished getting dressed. So we use the simple, the past simple. I had taken a shower and gotten dressed. So, or right. I took a shower and got dressed. These are for the simple forms in the past. He finished the meeting, okay? I had finished the meeting or I finished the meeting. The two are correct. But 
What was he doing in the moment? Ah, he was walking. He was walking in the parking lot. This was not complete because he was. Ha this was happening when the earthquake happened. This is the idea for the past simple and the past continuous. The past simple and the past continuous, we tend to use specifically for things that are we're looking at in the past events. So here, I'm gonna share with you a, a screenshot. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Here we have. Okay, so the simple past are actions that are already finished. Okay, uh, the past continuous are actions that were not finished at that time. So both of them, here we can see the difference between a past continuous and a past simple, okay? So if we use them in a sentence, this is normally the way that you use them. The action that started first is the past continuous. The action that was second or the action that interrupted, this is the past simple, the simple past, okay? So as we can see, while he was escaping from the bank, from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So he started this action first. He started escaping from the bank. And then after he was escaping, he got caught, okay? Hang on, let me put, take a screenshot and put into the chat to make sure we get a better idea of it, okay? Let me. There was an interruption that occurred. So the example here is while. We get a little bit ahead. Okay. And one more. Okay. So as we can see in the in the graphic, okay. So we tend to use this word as Jake was running towards the ball. So he was doing this action. This action he started, but then this action interrupt this he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal so why is always the past continuous the past continuous is for the actions that are started first or the ongoing actions that means the actions that are not complete we use the simple past for the actions that interrupt or stop the actions okay so here's the past and you can see the past is all of this all of it's in the past but in the simple the action that interrupts in this case of Romulo is the earthquake. The actions that were started was, was working, was walking, um, you know, uh, the other of the actions, that's the past continuous. The action that interrupt those, that's the simple past. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, okay, great. Because today we have a small activity and the activity is actually creating a story with your partner. So with your partner, we're going to create a story in the past tense. Okay. So it, you're going to use a mixture. You're going to, you can create a happy story. You can create a spooky story. You can create a science fiction story. For me, it does not matter the story because I only care about the grammatical structures. I only care that you're using the past correctly. So remember, if the action was not finished, it's going to be ing. If the action was interrupted, it's going to be ing. There are two functions when telling the story. One, the action was not finished. Or two, the action was interrupted by another one like in the case of Romulo. I was walking, okay? Bah, this action was interrupted by the earthquake, okay? I was working. In this moment, he was walking. So for him, he doesn't think about it, but the action was not finished when that earthquake happened. But the other actions, I took a shower, I had breakfast, these were complete. They did not interrupt anything because they did not interrupt anything, they are just the simple, okay? The simple past. So with your partners, you're going to create a story. We're gonna have you and your partners are going to have, let's say um, 15 minutes for you to create a story and then you're going to tell the class. 
then we're going to come back and we're going to tell in your own words, you and your partners are going to tell. So if you are two, one is going to tell the beginning and the other is going to tell the end. If you are three, one is going to tell the beginning, one is going to tell the middle, and one is going to tell the end of the story. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> hmm. I hope you are good at inventing or creating stories because that's what we're going to do. Uh, the challenge. <laughs> the challenge, the challenge. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter if you want to tell a story of, you know, La Ciguanaba, Cipotillo, that's up to you. The important for me is that you use it and you can tell a story correctly. Okay, if no questions, let's begin. We'll try. Yeah, that's all. That's what we come for. Practice, practice, practice. Without being able to see anyone, the sound follow me while while I walk in the forest. Only that I need continue, but invent. Okay, that's okay. Um, when I was uh, walking through the forest, when I heard some some mysterious. It sounds, it maybe was like uh, a big. Can see the screenshot on a WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, using the simple past and the past continuous, yeah. Okay. Past continuous, yeah. There are two images, two pictures. Okay? Yeah, I can see two pictures, yes, of course. Okay, um, let me. Mm -hmm. Let me be What is the story? Or... We got to improve. This, let me see. He saw a monster and he was. No. Well, he felt really scared and. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's not easy. Let me see. It's not easy, teacher. <laughs> no, it's not easy. It's not easy. The, the point is that maybe we can use the, the proper grammar, but the the focus on the on the this topic is create the story. And the story is, is the difficult for me at least. I don't know. Well, in fact, when I was trying to create something, I don't know. I, I think that I'm in university again when we are creating a product. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, let me see. I don't know. Once upon a time, Romulo was eight years old. Uh, a, a woman that the people call Siwanawa. He told us that she appeared in the river or lonely places. Uh -huh. And she has a long hair. Had, remember, past tense. Okay. Oh, she had, she had a long hair and, and she, F E L L I N G feeling. Yeah, F E E L I N G, yes. Oh. 
Okay. Let me see. Fairly. I hear voices and I, I, I feel. Uh, in that case, is I felt fear. I felt fear. I heard some voices and I felt fear because. Very good, Edwin. Very good. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> good teacher. Wow, good. You cry. You cry. Mm -hmm. oh, it was a was uh, um, frequently attacked, right? I, I, I know. Yeah, and I, I, I and I, and, and yeah, and I remember that time. It was, it was awful. It was, uh, yeah, it was a bad time for, I mean, for a child, you know, because as I say, I was, I was a child. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can talk about, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm agree. I think mm -hmm. we, can, we can tell about something that happened, something specific that happened to you mm -hmm. uh, in, during that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, let's start. <laughs> just one fact, or just mm -hmm. one fact, and we can about, talk about it. Yes, like when, uh, when you were in Chalatenango. Exactly. So we can start like uh, uh, I don't know to say saying that when I was. You child. were ten years old. You were you were ten years old. You were living with your parents. Do you have uh, more siblings? Or I think you, you have a brother, I think. Yeah, two brothers. Uh, you have, and you are the youngest or the... No, I'm, I'm the older. You are the old. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but the, he wants he want us uh, to use the... Past tense and the past... The past, con mm -hmm. the past continuous and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just yeah uh, things like that have never passed me before but I just uh, maybe I I I dream with some crazy things like those you you were telling me but no mm -hmm. I haven't experimented something like that yeah it's emotional, very, very emotional. I think it was a fear uh, for all people, for all people at the time. Yeah, because it was in a place that is far away, right? Yeah. Uh, we can explain it. Um, but only was a man and a dog. Yeah. No more. Have, have you ever gone camping? Yeah, yeah. Do you like it? I, yes, I like it. I like walk in the mountain in the night. Yeah. Uh, I have, well, uh, one time I went to the the Conchagua volcano at La Unión. I think that is in at La Unión, and we spent all the the weekend there with my friends. So in that time, we were walking uh, at night, and then some like two men appeared from nowhere. And I just freaked out because they looked so suspicious that I just ran away through the and went to the, the camping because I didn't know where the men were and they were doing, they were with lamps and they freaked me out. So I ran away and then I, I 
get into my my uh, camping uh, with my friends, and then I just and then I realized that they were the the security men that they were just uh, taking care of us. But I was so so freaked out that I I thought other thing. Um, okay, Conchawa, I don't know there. Yeah, the view is amazing, but yeah, just yeah, at the yeah. at the at the morning, just when the sun is is rising. Yeah, uh, I look a uh, picture about yeah. there, and it's beautiful. Yeah, but you have to you have to get there in a a big truck that is just the one way you get you can get out there and it's very difficult because it's like a, a big truck that carry cows and it's a long trip and may, I think that is you can do it just once I will never go again there okay Other place that is beautiful, like uh, Conchawa, uh, is Miramon. Uh, oh yeah, I looked the pictures and is it looks amazing. Yeah, is that Chalatenango, right? But yeah, Gladys and Jada, remember you're going to tell us a story. Yeah, teacher, I I tell about a story, two story, uh, the fear story. Okay, uh -huh. we continue with the st story, okay. No, 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 just to make sure that you are going to tell the class your story. You're going to create a story and you, and you're, the, you're going to tell the story to the class. Yeah. Yeah, okay, then no problem, mm -hmm. no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was the, the, the camping, the camping Ah, story. okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why only? In, sorry. Why? Why only in the morning? Is is good to go in the morning, not at night or not in the afternoon? At Conchagua. Yeah, Conchagua. Because uh, at the morning the sun uh, uh, starts from the the front of the. Like the Bahia, I don't know, the bay. Oh, okay. In, in at the afternoon, you can see the sun because it's behind you. But at the morning, you can see it just in front of you. Okay, that's why yeah. it's in, that's, ooh. Yeah. But that means you have to go at night or no? In yeah, order you have to ca camp there. Sleep there. Sleep mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Teacher, I, I, um, my friend, I, uh, and I lost in the mountain in, uh, in the mountain, and we look a uh, dog, big dog, but, uh, but not really, only imagination. Ah, uh, the, the dog is not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. Only was imagination. Um, all my friends and I. About this, we talk with uh, Gladys. Yeah. It was at Cabañas, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Cabañas, you said? Or no, Ilo Vasco. Is the Ilo same? Vasco. Ilo Vasco. In Ilo Vasco. Okay. At the mountains. Yeah, at night in the mountain. Yeah. You can, uh, can you, do you want to add something else to the story? Like, what were. No, no we. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm missing a. Uh, 
a bit time for to finish my my history, uh, my a little history. Uh, okay. The idea, the idea. Is All right, guys, are we ready? 15 minutes past already, teacher. Yeah, 15 minutes. Only imagine it's already 9.47. Already 9.47. It's no like... Finish. No finish, teacher. No finish. No finish, Patricia. No. No? Okay, let's see first. Who is finished? Is there any group that's finished? Um... Elizabeth, yeah, Elizabeth, you're finished? I, I hear that. Hi, us, us, we are the first volunteers. Excellent, Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth is finished, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so. Go ahead. Um, we listen, you present. Okay. I'm going to tell... I'm going to tell a story about um, something real <laughs> that, um, that happened when I was a child. Um, when I was a child, I was living in Chalatenango when the Civil War was in the stronger moment. I remember what time when I was playing with my friends. Um, when suddenly uh, the town was attacked by, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we ran to our houses and uh, tried to hide from the bullets. That's it. <laughs> okay, okay. Who else was the other? Who was your partner, Elizabeth? Me. Um, Veronica. Me. Okay. But she say she say everything. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I didn't know that I had to stop. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sir. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Many days ago, I visited the volcano of San Salvador, walking to the peak. In the middle of the forest, I heard a sound that looked like a cat that follow, followed me all the way for half an hour, but there was nothing. Only that. Okay, all right. Okay. Anybody is that, else? Is that one a story for the, uh, the, 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 peer, the pair or? Correct. One story for the pair. One story for the pair. Okay. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> no, really, because uh, we, we build it together, the, 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 the history. But... Okay. I don't have it completely, but if you, if you want, you can complete oh, oh, oh. it. Okay. Oh, I, tr uh, oh, I, oh, I tried. Okay. 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 Uh, Basically, the story is something that was, well, <laughs> not was, it's real. <laughs> okay, a Friday in the night, Romulo and his friends went to the cinema to watch a movie. They enjoyed the movie and the time that they spent. After that, they went back to their houses. While they were walking on the street, following the way to the town, uh, they passed close to a cement cemetery. They felt a bad presence over there. Continue, Romulo. Yes, that the, the story is real because uh, where a long, a long time ago, but at the middle of the, the 80s, when I, I grew up and in my, my, my town, or my, yeah, town, yeah. Uh, always with my friends, uh, we went to the cinema uh every friday because of the cinema has a promotion right two for one but the the function 
and uh, late, right? Very, very, very late at the night. When the, we return uh, uh, every Friday, right? As a, we need to pass in front of the cemetery. Yes, uh, the problem where, uh, or, uh, because uh, we felt uh, uh, frightening and scared because uh, sometimes uh, we, we, we heard uh, some scream, right? And we tried to, to, to run uh, very fast, but, uh, but uh, my legs don't respond, right? <laughs> it's a story, right? I'm scared. And in the end, what happened? You, you are killed. No, no, no. I returned to, 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 we, we returned to, de, to, 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 appears the, yeah. el padre sin cabeza. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and killed everyone. <laughs> okay. Finish. A bad finish. A bad blood. No, no, no. It's good. All right. All right. Good. Who's next? Who's next? Don't be scared, it's okay. Uh, we could be the, the next one. Patricia, okay. would you like to participate? Yeah. Okay, but we have a story uh, that we write on the chat. So we're gonna use the chat. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Edwin. Use the chat. No problem. Okay. If you are a grip, Patricia, uh, I could start, and then you will you will be the the second one. Okay. Patricia. Yes. Okay. When I was a boy, I used to play with my friends since the day start until the sunset. Your turn, please. We were playing with a ball. And suddenly, I saw a ghost. And... And, and the ghost was creepy. And I had, had to run. I had to run away from him. Then I screamed conti continuous and ran away. Because of his appearance. And what do you do, and Patricia? Then, I ran and left. Did you call to your parents? Yes, I called my parents and I won one. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. That's all. That's a little story we have with Patricia. Okay. That's it, teacher. <laughs> That's good. The idea, don't worry. The idea is making, practicing, not being scared. Go ahead. The story can be whatever story you want. It could be real, fake, a ghost, phantom. The important is we're using the past tense. We're using the past continuous. We're using these different tenses that we have. Okay. Who's next? Mm, I see Omi, right. Jose, scared, what happened? Carlos, what happened, huh? Okay, teacher, we made sure real life the story separately. Uh, we couldn't agree uh, with uh, Jose or Flores. <laughs> okay. It's very, very difficult to agree with uh, other. <laughs> okay. Um, my case is the real life uh, a story. 
yesterday while my family we were watching TV, uh, a cat jumped through the window and into the living room. Oh, we all saw it, and my mother shot her right in it. We tried to catch it, but it ran faster than us. Uh, the cat, the cat, me over very much. And when we were following it, it broke a water glass that was on the table, and also a curtain. It was a disaster. My mother was calling a neighbor, and when finally the animal found the window again and went out, we all breathing in the re relief. That's it. Thank you, Ami. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Jose? Carlos? Just okay. <laughs> one. Jose, you okay? You still on mute? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Okay. Um, I, I tried to, to write a short history. Uh, when I was a child, I live with my with my grandparents, and and there was uh, uh, I don't know if he had, uh, I I am right, but I there there was a story about about a lake uh, when it turned cold. Uh, the the person that where the, the can swim into the lake could see um uh, like a beast right and and, I, and that that's what i what i have <laughs> <laughs> that's fine okay no problem no problem okay all right All right, okay, we're gonna go ahead. I see everybody else is scared to go ahead and fast, but that's okay. It's a good idea. The idea that's the important is that I see the most difficult part is using the past continuous. Everybody seems to be comfortable and seems to be good with using the, uh, the past simple. I went, I saw, I, I met, or all of these, that's fine. It seems to be a little bit harder to try to find a way to use, I was walking, I was watching, or uh, they were, uh, you know, sitting, something like this. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead, we're going uh, to pause right now, we're going to practice again tomorrow, and we're going to see if we can get some more activities and some more practice using the, the difference between these two to make sure that it's clear. Okay? Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Have a great night. Great teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye -bye. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye, teachers. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.